include my introduction and the video I made apologizing for the delays, this would be the Irrehensible TJ's 13th video with Prosthetic Horn Productions. In Western culture, particularly Christian culture, the number 13 is often considered unlucky. The exact origin of the superstition isn't very well known. One explanation revolves around the Last Supper. Counting the twelve apostles and Jesus Christ, there were thirteen people seated at the Last Supper, that phantom hand with a knife notwithstanding, which is part of the basis for the belief that if you have thirteen people together at a table, the first one to leave will be the first one to die. A related superstition is the fear of Friday. There is an old sailing tradition to never set sail on Friday because Jesus died on a Friday. Now, despite that day being referred to as Good Friday, the relation to death is still quite apparent. How this relates to 13 is with the fear of Friday the 13th, made famous by the Voorhees family and their Crystal Lake murders. This may just be an extension of these other two Christian fears, fear of Friday and fear of the number 13, so when you put them together, it makes Friday the 13th extra bad luck. Another believed origin of the Friday the 13th fear is, in many ways, the exact opposite. Legend has that a pope made his final attack on the Knights Templar on a Friday the 13th, namely October 13, 1307, by rounding up and summarily executing all of the Knights Templar in and around Paris to finally put an end to the Crusades. While the Templar is being rounded up and murdered by the church on trumped up charges is a matter of record, but the exact date and reason are a bit up in the air. Furthermore, if this is the basis for the Friday the 13th superstition, or if the date was chosen because of the pre-existing superstition, is a subject of some debate. While the term Triskaidekaphobia, or fear of the number 13, doesn't exist until 1911, and there doesn't seem to be any recorded record of fear of Friday the 13th until the modern era, the fear of Friday and the fear of the number 13 seem to greatly predate that. In fact, the fear of the number 13 seems to predate Christianity. In Norse mythology, Loki is sometimes called the 13th god, as he's the 13th guest to arrive at Baldur's funeral when he was the one who caused his death. Another base <clears throat> another basis revolves around the number 12 being considered a perfect number, so one higher than that being bad. For the Persians, they believe that the 12 zodiac constellations would each rule the fate of the world for a single era. So, once all 12 zodiac eras are done, the world will return to chaos, making 13 bad. Similarly, we have a simple problem with our lunar month calendar. We have 12 months, much like the Persians, for the 12 zodiacs. However, the moon is on a 28-day cycle. As there are 365 days in the year, that means that there are 13 lunar cycles in a year, not 12. Meaning that every two or three years we get a blue moon, which is a fourth full moon in a season instead of the requisite three. The 13th moon in the year throws a serious wrench in the lunisolar calendar, which led to the miscalculation of the length of the year in the months, which necessitated the need to implement leap year. In fact, the name Blue Moon comes from the term Betrayer Moon, because this 13th full moon in the wrong place would screw up the date of Easter, which is based on the first full moon of spring, and thus throw off the entire Christian calendar. The fear of the number 13 has led to some oddities in our culture. 
The most obvious of which is the renumbering of buildings we often do in our culture so that we call the 13th floor the 14th to make there be no 13th floor. Interestingly, there's a similar tradition in many Asian nations where they don't have a fourth floor to their buildings. Because the number four sounds remarkably like the word for death in many Sino-Tibetan and Altaic languages, primarily Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. This is interesting as four is right behind three in many cultures as being a perfect number. As the number of Gospels left in the Bible, the four elements, the four noble truths, and, in a related note, the use of 40 to mean a really long time, such as the biblical flood lasting 40 days and 40 nights. On the flip side, there are, in fact, many cultures that venerate the number 13. For instance, the Mayan calendar worked on a 13-day cycle. For a more modern example, in Sikh culture, the number 13 is considered good luck, as the Punjabi word for 13 is the same as a word used for praising God. In an example that's probably reactionary to Western culture's fear of the number, and the counterculture nature, or at least roots, of the art form, a tattoo of the number 13 is considered good luck. So you're probably wondering why I made this video. Well, I thought that if I made a video talking about how foolish the fear of the number 13 is, how its basis is faulty and a subject of great debate, and how many cultures feel the opposite way about the number, that will make me feel better about this being our 13th video. Nope.